Hi, my name is Terry Jerez. I am a speech language therapist with Eluma Therapy. A couple quick tips regarding case management and students. I think communication with the IEP team is key for this. With the special education director to make sure that my caseload lines up with his or her caseload and what they have for dates and students to make sure no one's falling through the cracks. As well as with parents and teachers to make sure they are all aware of minutes um, that the students should, re should be receiving and the goals that they have on an IEP. This is often done through email or a brief meeting and I always CC anyone who needs to know who is involved with a student and document it accordingly. If I do talk to someone on the phone I will summarize that phone call in an email with the person just to make sure that we are both on the same page and that it's documented as well as document it on the student daily tracking sheet that I communicated with someone regarding the student. I do an in-depth monthly review of the database that I have of the students as well as the one that the special education director has to make sure that all of my dates are current and match with the main database of students. I attend the majority of all the IEP meetings for students as often as I can, unless there's one that I absolutely can't make, but that is usually not the case. I work part-time, so I really try to be present in some form in, in all of my meetings for the students, which really helps me to keep on top of um, my caseload and be in the know what's going on with, with all of them. And these are usually done by Zoom or, or by phone if meeting. And it, um, if needed. And if I can't make a meeting, then I will use the excusal form in the IEP. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have found it helpful. Eluma Therapy is here for you as you enter the world of teletherapy.